You know, until this morning, uh, I had never heard of my next guest. He is uh, supposedly a very outspoken young man and is also supposedly a future contender for the heavyweight boxing crown with a record of 32 wins, four losses, and one draw. Please welcome the mouth of the South, Wimpy Halstead. Wimpy. Hi, Wimpy. How are you? Good to see you. Come on over there and sit down. All right. Right over there. It's fine. Yeah, actually, why don't you sit right there? Oh, I was going to put my legs over there. Oh, no, that's all right. You Just... took your jacket off and said it was hot in there. It feels kind of cool to me. Yeah? Yeah, it's nice and cool. Actually, it's a fridge. Yeah. Put your jacket back on. That's uh, maybe the light. You're not even wet. That shirt should be wet. Look at it. You're okay. supposed to be sweating. Here, look. Now, I heard you were a fighter. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but if you did, I called Indiana where you were supposed to do some fighting. They sent me this as your opponent sheet, mm -hmm. and this is the truth. I couldn't believe it. I got that back. I just had to bring it to you. No, no, no. Show sure. the people. No, I want them to see them. You don't think so? No, I, don't I think they do. No, they don't. Tell this guy. They won't. See? You don't know. You should have seen some of these guys. Tomato yeah. can, bend over the rest. Willie drop. I'm telling you, they were great opponents. This guy was... <laughs> How many fights did you have? Is that true or not? You know, it's interesting. We didn't, Is it true We, did, we didn't not? have any time for the small town news. We had plenty of time for him. <laughs> I'll make you have time. You guys aren't going anywhere. Just sit back. Be now, casual. Now, Wimpy, Listen, give no, us, give give us, were you a fighter or not? Is, let, is me, let me ask you a question. Okay. Huh? One right. question. Well, I get one question? Uh, now, sh uh, should we have heard of you by now? Should we know more about you than we well, know? Well, okay, you see my record there. I'm 9 0 with eight knockouts in the heavyweight division. I fought as a professional since I was 16 years old. How which old is are you now, Wimpy? 22. 22. Now, uh, wait, let me tell you people something. I started out at 154 pounds. At 16 years old, now I'm 216 pounds at 22. By the time I'm 28, I'll be 230. Nice, comfortable heavyweight. I'm telling you, Mike Tyson, you're a runt. I'm looking for you. Now let me let me see. Here. I'm looking for you. I'm looking for you, Mike. On on June June. Don't go nowhere. On June 12th of uh, of this don't year. Don't lose. Please don't lose. If you lose, we lose all the money I can make. If he gets beat, forget it. Uh, Wimpy, on June 12th of this year. Uh, you fought a guy named Steve Eisenbarth. Eisenbarth, yeah. Eisenbarth in Los, yeah. Los Angeles. Yeah. In the form, fabulous form, the home of the Los Angeles. Before that, you, you fought Otis Hardy Bates. Yeah, yeah. Before that, you fought Larry Frazier. Yeah, Larry Frazier knocked out Mike Weaver in two rounds. Uh, I won that, the fight. Ten round decision. Unanimous. 99-91 with the scores. Jeez, the guy outweighed me 50 pounds. Mm -hmm. He was like 260 before the fight at the weigh-in. Mm -hmm. Is it okay if I put my feet up a little more? No, don't put them anywhere. <laughs> Why? Just, just where you have them is fine. I've, I gotta get comfortable here, so you don't understand. I come on here to talk with you, yeah. and you took your jacket off like you were cold or warm or some other nonsense. Yeah. And I want to sit back here and be just as comfortable as you are. You know, Wimpy, I know of a place very near here where they're giving away free beer. <laughs> You can have the Heineken, and I'll have a nice club soda with a twist of lime, maybe some Perrier or something uh -huh. comfortable. Yeah. What do you think? You want to do it or not? Uh, Don't bluff me out of here, Dave. Come on, really. Seriously, it ain't going to work. I'm not a bluff kind of guy. You're not a bluff kind no. of guy. No, I play poker occasionally. How, how did you get the name uh, Wimpy? Well, I did a little complaining when I was young. I still do. It's, I'm going to catch a cold in here. You guys don't know, but it's cold in here. With these sleeves... Hey, Paul, cut your sleeves off that shirt. Seriously. That's, it bleeds the thing. It's cold enough in here. I'm going to catch a cold, and that's the yeah. facts. Mm -hmm. And feel my hands. You think I'm going to kill you? Those suckers are cold. Don't try to hold hands with me, either. And don't ask to dance, either. Forget it. Yeah. We're here to talk about boxing. Let's talk about boxing. What do you want to know? What is it you don't know about boxing that I can learn you on? <laughs> <laughs> Well, there, there's plenty that I, uh, I need to have learned to me, but uh, uh, <laughs> your name, how did you get the name Wimpy? I told you, the veteran fighters give it to me for doing a lot of complaints. A lot of complaints. A lot of complaints. I started at 154 pounds and at 16 years old, they put me in a ring with a 195 pound, six foot five heavyweight. The guy beat the tar out of me. The first, I thought I was tough. Mm -hmm. I was fighting in the streets. I thought I was real tough mm -hmm. then. No, he proved otherwise to me. But give me a couple months. Why, I got why, why do you shave your head? Why not? <laughs> don't try don't try to knock it, because let me tell you, I've had this haircut since November. I've carried it through the winter. It's the most economical haircut I've ever had. I don't have to go to the hairstylist to get it styled. I don't got to comb it. If the wind blew through here, I wouldn't have to comb it. And I don't have any shampoo. No dandruff. Jeez, you can't get dandruff with this haircut. 
Try it sometime. You might like it. Let me ask you it's a question. It's a new style for you. Wimpy, when you, when you first had that haircut, did you notice fire trucks pulling up next to you? <laughs> no, I didn't notice any fire trucks. But uh, <laughs> I scared off a few, few people once or twice. Uh-huh. How are we doing on time here? Fine! We're doing fine! You guys don't go nowhere! Don't try to run off on me, Dave. It's not, you can run, but you can't hide. That's I'm right. telling you, this That's place right. is only so big. So what, when's your next fight, Wimpy, so we September can... September um... 2nd, and I'm going to fight the 16th, and I'm going to fight the 30th. And you people are going to have to come out to Madison Square Garden in October. I'm talking with Don King tomorrow, and I'm going to sign a promotional contract to promote my fight in Madison Square Garden in October. Come out and tune in. You come out. I'll even <laughs> buy you a ticket. You want to buy all these people a beer? I'll buy you a ticket. You're, you're Just one. You're... <laughs> Don't try to bring your brothers and your... You're kind of like the, the opposite of Julie Haggerty. You're just oh. like the, the, the other end of the spectrum. You know? we, uh, we have to run. Oh, we have to do a commercial. Nice to see you, Wimpy. Nice job.